This week's Ask Dr. Dury comes from a gentleman who wants to know what does it mean if you are lenalidomide or revlimid refractory? And if so, uh, what would be uh, treatment options? And so this is a, a, a great question, a very common question. It's important to know whether revlimid could still work or whether you need to switch to something else. And so the major definition uh, for being refractory to lenalidomide, revlimid, is that you must have progressed on full doses of revlimid or uh, had an inadequate response uh, with full doses uh, or the maximum doses that could be tolerated for the Revlimid. And so on the opposite side, uh, Revlimid could still be used. You are not refractory if you progress just with low doses typically used uh, for long-term maintenance or if you took Revlimid in the past but then have relapsed off of treatment. So you've been on uh, no maintenance, for example. And so this is very, very important in terms of what are the treatment options. And so I think uh, it's, it's, it's excellent to try to summarize, okay, if you are not refractory, if it's possible to still use the, the Revlimid, what would be the treatment options? Well, uh, combining Revlimid with any one of uh, several new agents would definitely be uh, feasible. Uh, daratumumab would be uh, a strong option, but also kyprolis can be used, ixazomib can be used, elotuzumab, all in combination with Revlimid, and we have excellent results in trials with all of those agents. I might mention in passing that before uh, switching to one of those things, uh, what the doctor might suggest would be perhaps to just increase the dose of the Revlimid first, or perhaps add in some weekly dexamethasone to see if this minor tweaking might be sufficient before switching to a completely new uh, or additional triplet regimen. So for patients who are clearly refractory to Revlimid, the main option is to use a combination which includes uh, pomalidomide. And so in this case, uh, again, there are uh, very clear uh, options where one can use uh, daratumumab, pomalidomide, and dex. One can use uh, any one of several of our newer agents combined with pomalidomide and dex, such as uh, ixazomib, uh, elotuzumab. Uh, one can use the new monoclonal antibody izatuximab. Uh, one can use uh, s several of those kinds of combinations. Even an older combination such as Velcade, Cytox, and Dex can be considered in this setting. And so uh, bottom line in this case is that it is very important to establish if you are refractory or not, and then to discuss carefully with your doctor what might be the best option for you depending on what has happened uh, with prior therapies.